Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Strongbad's Cool Game for Attractive People, where we are putting together our masterpiece of an album cover. We've got most of the parts now, I think. It seems like we just need a blonde lady, which I'm thinking is probably going to be Marzipan. Uh, we've got our camera. Maybe we can go and take her picture, I don't know. Um, I also wanted to go back to the house, because when I was editing up the last part, I realised we didn't check out the little bat cage thing in Strong Sad's room. So I wonder if potentially we can do something with that, because there is the the special bat at marzipan's house so i wonder if we've got to do something with the bats here potentially especially seeing as strong sad now isn't guarding his room and the bats were flying around everywhere i just got i don't know just going gonna try something out bit of a hunch if you will uh here we go the bat hutch I mean, bat hutches in my pants hope i don't get bit there we go so it turns out we missed that so i wonder if we can maybe like swap the bats in here with the the bats in um marzipan's house I mean, we can give it a go. There's nothing to lose, right? Let's go to Marzipan's house. And we'll, uh, we'll try taking her picture while we're here as well. In we go. Also, I want to talk to um, everyone else. Right, can we can we do anything with this bat? I don't see how a concert's going to keep this guy from drowning in Darwin's gene pool. Don't you listen to him, Pasquale. All right, Pasquale, do you want to... Maybe do something with this. I don't think these manly brown fruit bats want anything to do with that sickly albino loser bat. No. Okay. Well, it appears it appears they don't want anything to do with that. So can we can we just take a picture of marzipan? Looks like we actually can. Yeah, I don't think I'll keep this. Oh. Okay, we're not going to keep that for some reason. Uh, let's have a look at the album cover again that we're trying I to... I you could sell like a kajillion records if you put together an album cover like this. So we need to to give her the sword as well, I think, if it is going to be Marzipan. Do you want to hold this sword? Hey, Marzipan! What? Could you hold this for me? Why? I'm working on this album cover and I need a hot blonde to pose in a bikini <laughs> with a giant sword on top of a flaming car. And even though you really aren't all that hot... <laughs> so, you'll think about it? Lucky for me, Marzipan's not the only blonde in town. Oh, who... Who else in town is blonde? Who else in town is blonde? I'm trying to think now. Do we know anyone else who's blonde? Can the cheat do it? Hey, the cheat! I've got a great idea! Hmm? I need a hot blonde to hold this sword for the greatest album cover ever! And you're the closest thing available. Okay, yeah, it does look like... It does look like the cheat counts as blonde. Which I makes... I guess... I knew I could count on you to cheat! I'll see you later at the shoot! Don't forget to wear a bikini! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess that's the blonde sorted out then. Nice! I, uh, yeah, I guess it sort of makes sense. Um... Strong side have anything else to say? Hey! Can this wait? I'm hot on the trail of a story. Okay, fine. You you uh, sort right, out, your, out your story. Watch out for the bats, Hunter S. Dumpson. <laughs> there oh, weren't Why? Th there weren't any bats on this, were there? We don't have to uh, use younger me was a genius! No. If I can take a photo that looks like this crude drawing, I'm a cinch to win that limousine contest. Okay, yeah, so we've got so is that everything we needed? I wonder if he'll just come to the car now then, the cheat. Yeah, he does. Oh, my God. <laughs> the cheat wearing the bikini. <laughs> oh, it's kind of disturbing, honestly. So have we got everything now? Okay, I'm feeling lucky about this one. Let's see now. Dinosaur, check. Burning car, check. Imploding star, check. Hot blonde with a sword, check. <laughs> Looks like we're ready to make check. some cover history. Hey, the cheat, why don't you give us a good scream? Something that says, terrified, determined, and, oh, my loincloth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Whoa, this is great. I better take this before I lose the light or something. <laughs> Wait, why are the bats here now? Man, did I choose the right lens or Oh, my what? God. <laughs> this is like... The coolest album cover ever! How did that happen? I send this off to limousine before its coolness freezes a hole through my pants. Right, so we've got to send it to limousine then. So do we have to go back to our house and put it in the mailbox? 
Let's give it a go. I'm guessing that's what we do. Makes sense, right? Uh, here we go. Okay, let's do this thing. Yep. All right. We're in a day with limousine contest. Staten Island. One oh three oh what? Limousine album immortality. Here I come. Nice. Dear Mr. Bat, oh wow, okay. Are you ready to rock harder than anyone in your pimply male teenage peer group has ever rocked? Because your bodacious album cover is the winner yes. of the Roar and Rock debut with Limousine Contest. Just let us know when and where and we'll be there, ready to suck your rocks off. <laughs> Keep on seeing Limousine! Alright! Yes, alright, Limousine are, are, are in then. So, what do we do with the letter? Do we... I don't know. Do we have to do anything with the letter? So now we just need to sort out security, right? And then we should be good. So... Uh, I, I don't know who we want to be security, really. We we were theorising that it was... Um, that it was strong mad, right? But it seems like he doesn't want to do it. Let's try again. Let's try, let's try giving him the, the thing. Did he say anything? No. Way. Oh, so it's not going to be strong mad. Okay. Strong sad? So, about that jacket I showed you. Yes. It's not really a security jacket. It's actually a tour jacket for the obscure new indie band called Security. Security? I've heard people talking about them. A lot of Have people. Have you? That's interesting. See, they're hot. But talk is cheap. Legit indie bands have street teams that use guerrilla marketing tactics to get their name and logo up all over the place. Oh. So do we have to... Maybe that's a clue. We have to get our name... Oh, we've got this thing! Can we, like, use this on something? So we need to get our name all over the place. Can we, like... Uh, nope. So we're going to have to find... Right, so we're going to have to put our... Our logo somewhere, I'm guessing. The question is, where the hell are we gonna put For my it? Money, nothing calms the jangled nerves like screwing with Marzipan Zen Garden. Where are we gonna put the logo then? Could we like do it in the nah. sand? No. Okay. Right, we're gonna need to find somewhere then to put our logo. Um, maybe at home. Maybe we can put it in Strong Sad's room. That seems like a good idea, right? Let's uh, stencil his, his room or something. Can we, like, maybe we do it on here? Look, security. No way. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Uh, hmm, okay. Maybe on the mirror? That won't do anything interesting. No, okay. Can we... Uh no. I, I sort of just want to look at it to, to see if there's any clues. No, okay. Hmm. Where on earth are we going to use this thing? Nothing in here. Is there anywhere else we can put it? Maybe on Bubs' stand or something? Bubs! Strong bed? Alright, uh... How am I gonna get anyone to wear this ridiculous security jacket? Why don't you try lying through your teeth? It always works for me. What about lying through your rectangular mouth? Yeah, I suppose that work, toothless. Hmm, all right. Bobs, I found some celebrity judges for the Battle of the Bands. Who that? Oh, just a little small-time band called Limousine! <laughs> Limousine? I'll make millions selling hairspray and scarves. Now just find somebody dumb enough to handle <laughs> security and we can start signing up some vans. I'm trying, I'm trying. But it's a really ugly jacket. You have to trick someone into putting it on. Right, so we've got we've got to, we've got to trick somebody. So it's it's gonna be strong sad, isn't it? But we've got to use this stencil somewhere. Nah. Alright, so where the hell can we use this stencil? Is there anywhere around here? Oh, can we use it here? Because look, there's the other band logos. I wonder if we can use it here. Because there's cool tape. Yeah, look, there's limousine. And right, we're going to have to use it here, aren't we? Let's use it on the fence. 
This seems like a good place for a stencil. Yes, all right. Now what? Looking good. Now if only I had some spray paint. Or some oh, spray no. something. Spray paint or spray something. Do we have any spray paint or spray something? Man, those fruity little bats are really packed in there. It's like a giant pulsing wad of brown fur, teeth, and ears. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, we don't... Can we, like, scratch if it I on? throw a rock through someone's window, and no one's there to get a bloody head, did I really break the window? <laughs> Whoa, this really is a zen rock. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's actually the saying, is it? Um... Oh god, okay, so... Man, repainting this is seriously gonna deplete Strong Badia's treasury. I may have to raise taxes. Sorry, Tyre. <laughs> Unlucky Tyre. Uh, so we're gonna need spray paint or spray something. Where are we gonna get that from? Maybe Bub sells it? Let's go and check anyway. Bubs, can we... We don't seem to be able to go to the black market in this one. Bubs! Strong bad? Bubs, I've got a question for you. It's about... Oh, no, he doesn't know. Okay. Okay, the time for talking is over. For now. Where the hell are Go we going to get... Soon. I'm always bugs. Where are we going to get spray paint or spray something? Can we use, like, the whale thing? The whale thing's spraying water out the top, isn't it? Can't remember, honestly. Yeah, can we... Can we... I mean, I don't think the whale from memory in the, the cartoons actually sprays water or anything, though, does it? Let's see what sort of gibberish the old drive through whale is spouting today. I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Oh. Where did that go? Can we... Can we get that? Huh. Let's just... Okay, um, so that, that did fire out of the top, so I wonder if we do need that. Well, I don't know where the hell it went. It doesn't seem to have landed anywhere, does it? The car's there. Can we use the oil? Is there a way of, like, collecting the oil up? No, it doesn't look like a hot car now. <laughs> Makes sense that it's hot, I guess. The make automobile is looking especially fearsome today. Right, no. Hmm. We don't have anything that we could use a spray paint, do we? I mean, people here have been using spray paint, so there must be a way of getting hold of some. We've been all the way around. Uh, all right, let's go into Marzipan's and see if there was anything around here. Maybe we've got to make spray paint. Uh, Strong Sad, do you know anything about spray paint? Hey, teenage lobotomy. <laughs> Don't bother me, Strong Bad. I've got snooty rock journalism to pursue. Uh, do you know where... How'd Marzipan get two kind of cool guys like no, Strong... No, we've seen this conversation. Ah. So he... See you later, dump take. He doesn't seem... <laughs> so rude to Strong Sad. He doesn't seem to... Unless we can, like... That's the original Cool Tapes graffiti that gave Marzipan the idea for her band. Considering Homestar painted it, oh. it's lucky both words are spelled correctly. But we haven't seen Homestar in this episode, have we? So maybe we've got to find Homestar? Alright, let's go back to the house then. We'll go back to the house. I don't think Homestar was there, but maybe he was in the basement or something? Or maybe he's there now, because before in the game we've seen it where certain things have happened and then characters have appeared, right? Let's just look around, I guess. Maybe we've got spray paint in our room? I mean, it's possible, right? Seems like a type of thing that Strong Bad would have. Oh, didn't we get an a email two, notification as one. well? Ignition. Gentlemen, we have emails. Nice, we have emails. Uh, rock eras, Mark D. Dear Strongman, in your opinion, what era of rock rocked the hardest? Looking for validation, Mark Derek! <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I don't validate. Maybe just clubs. <laughs> but I can tell you exactly when rock rocked the hardest. Right. When you're 18 to 24 years old. <laughs> but if you're over 24, man, sucks to be you. Because music rocks less and less with each passing year. 
until the next thing you know, you're listening to the oldie station and playing air guitar at a stoplight next to a car full of teenagers that spit and laugh at you. <laughs> Stupid kids. They call that noise music. Curmudgeoningly. Strong back. <laughs> Curmudgeoningly. All right, Dilly. All right, so nothing there. All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys, we're out of time for this one. So in the next one, we're going to try and find this spray paint to do that stencily thing, and then maybe we can convince Strong Sad to become our security. I don't know. Uh, seems like that's probably what we've got to do. There's got to be some spray paint laying around somewhere. Either that or we've got to find Homestar. So we seem like we're on the right track. We've got the album cover sorted at the very least, so we're, we're well on our way in this episode, I think, which is great. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.